Next, we will introduce some considerations for laser engraving different materials, including wood, plastic, and metal. Firstly, let's talk about wood. There are many two types of wood panels, artificial wood and natural wood. Common types of artificial wood include basswood, plywood, and popular plywood, which are suitable for laser engraving and cutting. However, construction used plywood with complex adhesive materials is not suitable for laser engraving and cutting. Common types of natural wood include basswood, popular pine, and camphor wood, which are relatively soft and can be cut. Hardwoods such as walnut, pear wood, bamboo, and beech are more suitable for engraving. Next, let's discuss plastic. Plastic materials are also suitable for engraving and cutting. However, due to the wavelength of blue laser, only opaque plastic materials can be cut and engraved. Additionally, the cutting and engraving process may produce strong and irritating gas, so proper ventilation and protective measures should be taken. Lastly, let's talk about metal. Stainless steel, aluminum alloy, and metal materials with coatings or oxidation treatment can be used for engraving. The engraving effect may vary depending on the laser power. It is important to know that Spider X1 is not capable of cutting metal and attempting to do so is not recommended. By following safety procedures, including wearing appropriate personal protective equipment and maintaining a clean workspace, you can achieve better engraving results while ensuring safety. Finally, let me introduce the specific parameter settings for engraving. Speed and power settings are two crucial parameters when using Spider X1, as they play a key role in the successful completion of your work. A common testing method is to collect a small representative piece of material and perform the test on the Spider X1. Firstly, try different power levels and observe the results to determine if the desired effect is achieved. Then adjust the speed parameters according to your needs to further optimize the cutting and engraving results. We also provide you with commonly used cutting parameter settings for Spider X1, and you can go to our wiki to check. At the same time, we have also made corresponding case practices in the open community Spider Make for your reference and learning.